Good morning, church. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ is sufficient for all of us. My name is Agnes David. I originate from Bobono. People of God, the last Friday, that was the night of the faithful, the revealer of mysteries visited my life. So, people of God, the man of God came to me. He started by saying that this is a spiritual husband. And then the man of God says that if you can be sincere with me, this is sexual immorality that I performed a long time ago. And then the man of God mentioned the issue of a ring that I had an encounter with a ring. And then the man of God touched the issue of my health, that there is a, there is a pain that I feel in my left side. And then lastly, the man of God talked about the case of a child, I mean, the child who is a destitute. And the man of God says that I cannot, um, the child cannot be left suffered while I'm still there. So come on, this spiritual husband. Check. Check. How are you? I'm fine. They say, this is sexual immorality. There's a sin you committed. Yes, man of God, long time ago. Yes, I know long time ago, but it has brought the spiritual husband. Yes, man of God, sometimes which I... Which you had a dream. It, it, there was a ring, the encounter of the ring. As if you were wearing the ring and somebody removed the ring from your finger. Yes, man of God, I remember the dream. What happened? It's like I was wearing a ring. Mm -hmm. Then in the morning I was amazed. I, I, I was asking myself, what is this ring for? The sin you committed, the sexual immorality in the past, is the mother of your crisis. Very true, man of God. There is pain you feel on the left side. Exactly, man of God, exactly. As if fallopian true. Yes, very correct. As if fallopian true. Very correct, man of God. This pain has been troubling me and it's causing me to have a frequent urination. This thing has been there for long. Very correct, man of God. Even, man of God, I'm even using a bucket in my bedroom. Because you cannot contain. Man of God, I'm urinated time and again sometimes. Ten times in a day, in a night. Twenty times. Man of God, I need it. The sin you committed in the time past yes. is the one that is rendering you this way. Yes. You were lucky to be meeting me this time. Yes. This sin was supposed, they were supposed to cut the left following shoe. Yes, man of God. Because it is swelling. Hey, man of God, you are right. Very true. Sometimes the delegation, it's, it's hard. What is it? huh? Yes, keep it. Arrogant. What is it? So you ask God for forgiveness. Yes, man of God. This is your time for freedom. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Thank and, uh, you, Jesus. There's a case of a, a, a boy child. Destitute. They should not be destitute when you're present. Yes, man of God. Yes, thank you, Jesus, for my freedom today. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for setting me free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. People of God, allow me to unpack the, the issue of the sexual immorality that the man of God saw in me. People of God, all things started where after finishing my Form 5. There is this English teacher of mine who was teaching me English at my senior school. So after finishing my Form 5, I met this man at a bar. The man proposed me for a relationship, then I agreed. Then after agreeing with that man, that same night I went to his house and then we slept together. But along the relationship as it was continuing, I kept on going to his place to sleep with him. So one day after coming from his place, I realized that I wanted to go and urinate. But when I got to the toilet, the urinate refused to come out. I was wondering, asking myself, I'm feeling so oppressed, but the urine cannot come out. Then I started experiencing itching in my private parts. And then again, this is where the man of God talked about the pain. This is where now the pain started developing. And the issue of urination, it is similar until date. 
can urinate time and again. In a day, I can go to the toilet ten times. At the at night, I can urinate about fifteen times. But the urine sometimes will be small, not even a spoonful. Keep it dark. And what is the problem with me? And I started having frequent urination time and again, time and again. And this pain was too much on me. Get all like each other. Keep it dark. And what is wrong with me? People of God, like I said, I'm working as a teacher. So this thing of urination, I will at school. I now realize that it's like teachers now are noticing what I'm going to the toilet. By what can what 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 is the problem with this woman? So I decided to took a, a bucket of butter at, at school and then I took it to my class storeroom. So I used to urinate on that bucket early in the morning or I will wait for the students to go out. After they went out, the school is out, I will take the bucket and take it to, to unload it. Sometimes I will forget this bucket. If at home, the room that I'm sleeping at is right next to the to the toilet. It's just one step, but I'll carry. I have to take the bucket because this thing was too much. Happen on tapis, I go to the toilet, then get to the other body, but I'm staying alone, so I have to take the bucket, put it inside the, the, the my bedroom, and urinate. And during the course of the day, I was I was not flushing my toilet because I'm staying alone. I felt that I'm wasting water because this thing of urination it will be too much. I'll flush my toilet in the in the evening and wash it with a brush every day. That is my thing. So I went to the hospital to see a private doctor. Then the doctor diagnosed me and and, and check up high blood bo had this thing sugar diabetes and the hiv but i was found that everything is normal i'm negative in all the things so the, i met another doctor the doctor said that maybe it's because my urinary tract sac is too small it cannot contain the urine but i knew what i asked this thing now mm -mm, is something else so you never found solution yes i never found solution so people of god after continuing to date with this man, I could see that the relationship was no longer working because this man, me and him, we were just meeting for satisfaction. But the other side of my heart loved the man. But the man broke up with me and I was hurt. And I still continue to date other men. I remember that I dated other three married men, but this man... It's not that I wanted the relationship from them. I just wanted to satisfy myself sexually. So as time was going in my life, I I went I moved on to go and stay with my brother at Lobase. So when I got there, I told my cousin or I visited my cousin. She said, Lady, can I am facing challenges in the disappointment? What is wrong with me? And then this lady told me that Ghana, there is a traditional doctor at Habane. By that time, I did not know Christ. I was living in the world. Then I agreed to go with her to, the, to, to go and meet the traditional doctor. So when the traditional doctor got there, he asked me, what is it, Ma? How can I help you? And then I told the traditional doctor that uh, um, I'm facing challenges. I cannot just settle down. I don't know what is wrong with me. The man said that... Uh, can you tell me the man whom you want to settle down with? And then I did that. The man gave me a paper. He told me to write the name of the man and the, the, my name. And then the man took the paper and put it inside the bottle with the, with the mele. And then he closed that bottle with my name and the name of the man. But um, people of God, the relation, he told me that this man will come back to my life. But the man of that, that man did not come back to my life till to date. And then I continued. Then I met a sister lady, a sister friend of mine from Bubono. This lady, we became so much close that we moved everywhere. I was always with her. Then this lady introduced me to the life of Raburon. We started going to bars. We started going to the clubs. This lady, one day, she met a, a white man. And the white man took us to his place. When we got there, the white man changed the story now. He said that he wanted to sleep with both of us. Then uh, we discussed with my friend. They said that is not a big deal. And then we, my friend, we agreed that the friend should go first. So after my friend 
has gone first. After that, now I refuse. Yeah, no, because he lets a girl and a girl. Ah, eh, now I cannot do such things. It's not allowed. This is not the right thing to do. So, ebe rezoel la lebo tshelo le my sister friend. Haren tere tshelo le lebo tshelo. We met another Indian man. This Indian man told us that he, he all he wants he wants to be aroused, to be sexually aroused, and to, like to be romanced. He booked a room for us. Then when we got there, the man. Uh, took off took off his clothes from him and then as we took off the top clothes then we started uh, arousing this man sexually and after that we were paid little money because we were just we were still young by then about the issue of the ring you had a dream it, it there was a ring the encounter of the ring as if you were wearing the ring and somebody removed the ring from your finger Yes, man of God, I remember the dream. What happened? It's like I was wearing a ring. Mm -hmm. Then in the morning I was amazed. I, I, I was asking myself, what is this ring for? The sin you committed, the sexual immorality in the past, is the mother of your crisis. Very true, man of God. Yes, about the issue of the ring, a long time ago I had a dream. I saw myself wearing a ring in a dream. And then in the morning, I was asking myself, for what kind of a ring is that one? So I thought maybe. So in 2012, I made up my mind to go to the Synagogue Church of All Nations looking for solution. And then when I came back, because I did not make up my mind fully, um, my other leg was in the world, and then my other leg was in, in God. So in 2020, 2013, my, the sister to my friend, the younger sister to my friend, invited me to, to 3G Ministries. Then this is when I arrived in 3G Ministries. And in and those days, the man of God was preaching much about character, that if you want to get married as a woman, you should live your life, go and take yourself like a married woman. And if you are a man, you want to be married, you should treat yourself like a married man. So people of God, one day I had a wonderful encounter with this God of my father, Prophet Cedric. So I had a nice encounter. It was still tense. There were no structures like this. So there was a, the, people were singing, drums were beating, but there was absolutely silence. I heard a, a voice coming to me, worry. I'm going to resurrect the story of your love life just like I've resurrected Lazarus. People of God, I came to PPS because I'm a teacher by profession. So the men of God uh, told the children that they should behave themselves. They should be wisely in choosing their friends and only focus on education on that day. So people of God, my heart was with my sister's son. He, I was asking myself, or oh, can the way is this boy? I wish this boy was here to, li to listen to my father and the Lord. Maybe he can do well and change because I hear that his character was not pleasing. So again, the mother of the child is not working jobs that are any. She's working at Ipelereng and then sometimes she will not go to Ipelereng. So after arriving at home, the following day, I phoned my sister asking about this boy, Donald. I said, where's Donald? Can you please go to school and ask how is Donald is doing performance? I want to know, what is this boy doing? Can you please go and ask even the behavior? People of God, I was really concerned about this child. Keep us out. Where is this coming from? Little did I know what I have an assignment to do because the sister told Donald I was staying with her in Mulepolo, and now there is another assignment that I have to do to take care of my sister's son. People of God, after after the men of God prayed for me, now the thing of frequent urination after church, I after that service I went to my car and then I did not urinate and I was amazed. I didn't go for urination. I just went home. I urinated at home. So that night, people of God, I saw myself sleeping without bucket inside my bedroom. I urinated once and then I urinated in the morning. People of God, the men of God introduced the staff for us to, to throw a staff. Then that, 
those, that week, the man of God announced I had money into my account. Then I said, you know what? I don't want to listen to the arguments of the enemy. I just threw my stuff. People of God, but before throwing the stuff, I was living in fear. I was fearful to go to the bank to borrow money, but I was earning a good salary, people of God, with a good net. But I was afraid, the spirit in me, or a, hey, what am I going to use this money for? But after throwing a stuff, I managed to now go to the bank and get myself some finances. I managed to acquire a plot for myself and build two bedroomed houses, two houses, two bedroomed houses. <laughs> People of God, after throwing a stuff, I now go to the bank and then I was able to buy myself a, a plot. Then I built two two bedroomed houses, as you can see here. And then I, I was driving another car, then I sold it. I managed to buy myself this beautiful car here. And then people of God, this is the bucket that was my friend for so many years, but now it's over. People of God, my word of encouragement will come from the book of um, 2 Corinthians 10 verse 4. It says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of every stronghold. People of God, the word of prophecy in this place is one of God's powerful weapons to pull down every stronghold that could be holding your life. <laughs> 